Hidden away in a little valley is Oraki Karako. It's one of those marginally cheaper Rotorua attractions you can do because it's not in the Rotorua town center. Welcome. Well, today we are at Oraki Karako. Kind of a hidden thermal park close to Taupo, between Taupo and Rotorua. Okay, before I forget, they actually let you take your dog here. This is a geothermal volcanic area, and I saw people taking their cute little dogs there. I can't say that I really recommend this, because they tell you right here at the visitor center that when you head on over, uh, over on that little water taxi boat thing, that the temperature at Araki Karako is about three or four degrees warmer than on the other side of the river where you start off. And when you head on over there, there are boardwalk walkways all over the place. And um, you, you know, your dog's going to want to run around, and the dog can't, because you've got to stick to the walkway for safety reasons. So, although you can, I really recommend you do not bring your dog to Iraqi Karako. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Keep to the path. So it's worth keeping in mind you are entering a sort of a dangerous environment. Uh, at, at the very least you must bring you know, your own water or food um, because there's no facilities over there of any kind. Funny thing is you got the safety signs and stuff around and uh, some of them are so covered in the um, silica that you can't even read what they say anymore. But the uh, safety sign at the beginning said don't touch any water, treat everything as boiling because it will burn you. And when you walk around here, you do get that feeling like this is like dangerous. <laughs> Good thing they built a nice, safe boardwalk for us to walk on. Yes, a nice, safe boardwalk for you to walk on. And that is the problem with bringing your dog over there. Now take a look at what you're seeing around here. It's beautiful. It's mesmerizing. There's silica, there's hot water, there's boiling water, there's steam. It's like a desert landscape from another world. And if you bring your little dog, your little dog is really going to want to run around and check it all out. And Araki Kareko is suitable for people with moderate fitness levels. And there are a lot of steps, so you do have to expect that you're going to be walking around and sort of going up some hills and down some hills. Um, so there's a lot of walking, a lot of steps required for Araki Kareko. That is the hot spot. Jimmy, that's the spot. <laughs> That's boiling water down there. You can't swim in there. I would say that the first area, the first few minutes of Iraqi Karako is probably the most exciting, interesting part. You're, gonna, you're not going to want to leave, you just want to stay there for a long time and just watch and watch and watch. Um, it really is amazing. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Danger. You can actually look at this on you know, Google Earth and you get a bit of an idea because when you get off that boat and you start walking, it's a very slow gradient to get up a hill and you're walking along maybe half a kilometer at first of these terraces going across and back and forward and checking out these terraces and eventually you get to this high point where you can see everything and you notice oh it's hot <laughs> it's quite hot here they weren't kidding when they said it's three to four degrees warmer in this area than it is on the other side of the lake Whew. There's an elephant rock here, and apparently it looks like an elephant. After editing the video, I don't think that that rock actually looks like an elephant, but Coco knows a little spot where you could cook a hangi. Look, look at the smoke coming. That's where you cook your hangi. Put all the food in. Yeah, don't fall in. <laughs> yes, you see, I wasn't kidding when I mentioned that you walk up a lot of steps. 
Hey, at least those steps are there, and those steps are there to keep you safe. And when you get to the top, when you get to that high point, just stop and relax and take it all in, because it's worth taking the time to enjoy it. Something I just noticed here, we've got our first aid medical cabinet here, but down here we've got a box and we've got cling wrap in here. Cling wrap, because if you've done a first aid course before, you'll know that if you get a burn, you've got to cover it with a cling wrap to stop infection. So they've got cling wrap up here. There's also a big black dark cave there too. I can't say that it's terribly exciting, to be honest with you. It's just, it's just there. Ponga, silver tree fern. So because of the fact that it's there, they're gonna say, they're gonna tell you like, oh, go and check out the cave. Caution, danger. Do not enter the cave. And it's not like you can go into the cave. It's just a big hole in the ground, basically. And after the cave, we quickly scurry along and discover the bubbling mud pools. At which point I am reminded of Laura's reaction from NZ Pocket Guide. She really loves the mud pools, and me too. Yeah, you like mud pools, right? Yeah. Blop, 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 blop. I'm cutting down the mud pools so you just get a few seconds of it, but honestly, I could watch bubbling mud for hours. Gotta catch up to Coco. Oh, there's more of them. Well, you know, all this walking, it makes me feel quite thirsty. I'd like to have a soda. Soda fountain. You have a drink, right? Yeah. Hmm. Soda fountain. Fountain. Fountain? Fountain? Fountain. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. The soda fountain. Wairiki soda fountain. After laying dormant for 17 years, the soda fountain suddenly erelled and burst into life in 1984. And since then it has been unpredictable. And can ill and empty at any time. I think that typo meant to say that it can fill and empty at any time. And with that, it's time to head back. Head back on that little boat and wrap it all up and reflect on what we thought of Araki Karako. You'll see a time lapse at the end of the video, and during that time lapse, we actually caught this little eruption there up on the hill. Well, that was Araki Karako. It's a nice walk on a. You know, I think it's good any time of the year. It could be rain, it could be sunshine. I think the price of Weber Steep is $39. Good activity, but a bit steep. Okay. Thanks for watching.